everyone and welcome to AI and Tech in Education. So today I'll show you one of the easiest ways you can identify two or three potential theoretical frameworks for your paper, for your dissertation, that will literally take you only five minutes. So the first thing that you need to do is go to Elicit AI. You can do that in Google or you can actually go to um, elicit.com. And once you click on it, it will take you to the main page. It will ask you to sign in. It's a free tool, um, so you can go onto the basic plan and you'll see this main page that it says uh, explore the scientific literature. So to start off with, you need to ask a research question um, and try and be specific here and include the main keywords that your paper or thesis is addressing. So in my case, I'm looking uh, for a theoretical framework on business analytics and big data. So I will start by typing in impact of business analytics and big data on business performance. Okay, and then I will search. And you'll see that it searches over 125 million academic papers and that it will bring up a number of papers that address the topic. So you can see here's the number of papers and then there's an abstract summary. And if you're interested in the features of Illicit um, and how to use the, this research tool, you can go to one of my other videos that shows you step by step how you can use it to write a literature review. But for now, our focus is on generating um, ideas for our theoretical framework. So what you need to do is come here to this section, which says search or create a column. And inside here, I'm going to write what theoretical framework does this study use? Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to enter it. I'm going to create a column. Okay, and now you can see now we have a column here that will analyze every single paper that I have in my list and, and draw out the information on what theoretical framework that this paper uses. Okay, so let's look at some of the theoretical frameworks that we're given. So here we can see that this paper is using the resource-based view. We have here Zuboff's Automate Informate Framework. We have another paper here that's using the resource-based view as well. Okay, some papers won't give you exact theoretical frameworks, so you can just skip over these. Um, okay, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got quite a few here. Well, let's uh, load some more papers. So we've got complexity theory. We've got another paper here that uh, uses the resource-based view. Okay, and I'll keep on loading more, just getting myself as many as I can. And we've got the dynam dynamic capabilities theory, another resource-based view. And another resource-based view. So as you can see in this quick exercise, we've managed to draw out at least two different theoretical frameworks that are popular in this literature, which is the resource-based views, the dynamic capabilities, and you can keep on loading more papers to identify maybe different types of um, uh, theoretical frameworks that are, you know, uh, not more not as common, um, or you can filter your papers um, by specific keywords and so on to um, look for specific uh, theoretical frameworks that maybe uh, focus on a particular angle in your literature. So this is a very easy way that you can uh, use as a starting point for your theoretical framework. I hope you found this video useful. Please do let me know if you have any other uh, suggestions or ideas in terms of uh, finding theoretical frameworks um, and I hope to see you in the next video.